Hey, this is Sarah from saradesign.com and in this Photoshop quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create your own very convincing drop shadows to put under objects in Photoshop. Okay, so I am working on this Photoshop mock-up and I have this mug that I created and I want to put some shadows underneath it and so it's going to end up looking something like this. These are the ones I've already made, but let's do it from scratch. So I'll turn that off. I'm gonna click on the layer below and hit this dog ear shape down here, which creates a new layer right above the layer I have selected. So that's just to get that layer underneath the mug layer. Okay, makes sense. Then I'm gonna go up and grab this circle, which is the elliptical marquee. I am going to draw down here. I'm trying to make a shape that follows the line of the bottom curve of this mug. So as I'm drawing with my mouse, if I hold down the space bar on my keyboard that allows me to move it up and around on my page so I can kind of really drag it into place where I need it. Okay, so now we have the basic shape of the bottom of the mug. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is fill it with black. Go edit, fill, foreground color is black, so that's what we're picking, black. Okay, and I'm gonna hit Command D on my Mac to deselect. And if I turn off the mug, you can see that's what it looks like. First, we're gonna grab our move tool once that's clicked, I can use the arrow on my keyboard and kind of scoot the black shape down. We're going to blur it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we don't want to blur it too much. What we want is to have a slightly dark, pretty black area right underneath the bottom of the mug. And then the shadow layers after that are going to get increasingly lighter. So there'll be a little bit gray here and then even lighter and lighter still stretching out into the shadow. So now let's duplicate this layer. We'll drag it down onto the dog ear to make another version. Now we're gonna, again, gonna say filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this time I'm gonna make it a lot blurrier. And I'm gonna use my keyboard to zoom out. And on the Mac that's command minus. So you can see a little bit more of what's going on. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, the way the light is coming in, um, since it's coming from the left and the shadow is on the right, we're gonna have our shadow be going that direction. So there's gonna be more shadow over here on the right side than there is on the left. So just keep that in mind. If we go in here and we duplicate this again, and then we say filter, blur, motion blur, then we get a more elliptical shape. So this looks natural. If the light was coming straight down from above, you can see there's equal shadow on the left and right side, but we're gonna have it more just on the right. But first, what we need to do is just make sure that we drag it, like, do we want it much wider? Do we want it much closer? You know, how far do we want this to stretch? I'm gonna do a sort of medium because I'm gonna be altering this and you'll see, okay. We'll hit okay. Now, what I can do is I can do transform, edit, transform, or free transform, and you can see the keyboard command for that. I'm gonna just scoot it in on the left so that the shadow really only exists on the right. I'm also gonna kinda angle it a little. Let's see how that looks. I think the light might be sort of in the front, so it's gonna angle toward the back, and I'm gonna hit return. That looks pretty good. Let's duplicate it again. Hit trans free transform again. Stretch it out even further. I'm gonna make it actually a little bit wider. We're gonna angle it a little bit more and further. Let's see, actually maybe a little bit less. I don't want it up so high and hit return. Now things are getting too dark. So let's go to the lower layers and start to lower the opacity on those. So the idea is that it's very dark close to the mug, it's lighter further away from the mug. And then if I grab a couple layers at the same time by holding shift, I can again go to edit, free transform, stretch it out more, angle it if I want, squash it if I want, and hit return. And I can continue to do that until I feel like it's, it's looking pretty good. There you go. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos.